Hi teammates, my name is Sean J. McCall and as usual, I am your host for the Eurostep where we've got some pretty good guests lined up, pretty funny, uh, ambitious, exciting, everything uh, concerning basketball and tonight is no exception. So we're gonna get right started. But before we start, make sure you look at the bottom of your page at the comment part. If you would like to ask our guest a question and everybody sees it, then just ask it there. If you would like to ask a question only I see, um, you can do it in the question mark with the speech bubble around it, and only I'll see it, but I check that very often and I can throw a question in um, now and then. Hopefully it's something that I didn't already have written down anyway. So I'm, I'm ready to get started. I'm, I'm really excited to have my guest on, so we're, gonna, we're just gonna start. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of big, big uh, stuff. Um, Jaden Bellotti is a YouTube, uh, I don't even want to say, I don't want to limit him and say he's a YouTube sensation, but I've been following for him for a while now. Uh, he gives me inspiration for my reels. I think he's hilarious. And his, 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 his um, what are they called? Clips are very realistic in a funny way. Um, and that's why I was, I was drawn to what he does. So um, I'm just going to get him in here without much other stuff. And you guys didn't come to see me. Right away. And boom. Boom. Yo, what's going on? What's, what's good, Jaden? How you doing, man? Doing good, man. What about you? I'm straight, man. Thank you. I appreciate you coming on, taking time out of your day. I know you're a student athlete. You got better shit to do than to come on my podcast. But um, oh, it's all, all good. I appreciate you. I, I really appreciate you coming on because, like I said before, I've been following you for a while as well. So um, you make me laugh, and uh, I always like to to get people on that are somehow connected in a basketball way. And um, we're going to talk. We're going to touch on your student athlete stuff. We're going to touch on the on the skit stuff as well. But like I said before, I really appreciate you, appreciate you taking the time out. Sure. Sure. Anytime. So everybody that just joined, hi. Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, we're going to get right to the questions. I know you got a busy schedule, so I'm, I'm going to get you in and out. Um, first off, were you always a hooper, or did you play something else before? I, I actually, I've, n I've never, like, played any other sport <laughs> ever. I, and any, like, literally any other sport that I play, I look like the most, like, uncoordinated. <laughs> so, like I think I just actually my friends at school and stuff we uh go to the beach and stuff like that sometimes and like they'll like you know how people like do one on one and routes and stuff yeah. like that so I'm j I they, they literally had to like teach me how to like throw a football <laughs> they'll like, like teach me like what a route is because I'm like Whoa, what the <laughs> that mean like do I cross left cross right do it behind the back or something like that <laughs> yeah. yeah. I couldn't catch a football in high school, actually. So anytime, like in gym class, like they playing football, they throw the ball to me. Like it's literally just, like, I can't catch. It. <laughs> so, so when you're out there running routes, you be out there doing the Euro. Nah, I literally, it's like it literally looks ridiculous. Everything, <laughs> like I, I just look ridiculous playing any other sport. I look, I look ridiculous. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So I know, but you're, you're, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I've been playing, playing basketball my whole life, though. So I know you're your brother plays as well and um so i got two questions about that first of all who's better second of all who who gets the most w's when y'all play one-on-one -on -one? every okay i get this question all the time <laughs> i i think i genuinely think that i'm better that i'm better than my brother i would like years ago like i'd say like he's better because he's like, older I feel right playing against playing against him all the time like i think that like he he's helped me grow because like I think that I think that that's just natural, like yeah. with like being a, a younger brother yeah. and a brother, like like you're just gonna pick up stuff and like I think like with time you're just gonna be better naturally. But like if you ask him, he's gonna tell you like obviously <laughs> brother bigger, faster, stronger, or whatever. But I gen I do think I'm better. Okay, I mean you gotta have the confidence to think I, you're better. I mean, but like in the ones. I think I'm. Ca I've been catching up. Oh. He's past in the like in the ones, but like he definitely like. But he ha but he has like he has like a lot of dubs over me because like he's just so much bigger than me, and he's four years like he's four years older than me. So he did he he racked up a few. But like I've been but I've been 
I've been I've been cooking them a couple times. The last couple times that we played, but like yeah, yeah. That, but you definitely just by circumstances. Yeah, that's how it is with Big Brother, Little Brother. I mean, it took me I don't know years before my brother would let me beat or not let me beat him before I really beat him, and he wasn't. I mean, he wasn't nearly as good as me. He was just bigger, like you said, a little bit bigger. Then I got mm -hmm. bigger. I hit a growth spurt, and got, once I got once I got taller than him, it was over. Yeah. Then then it was over. That's how it. That's how it is right now. I think I'm like two inches taller than my brother now. Yeah. But I I remember. I think I was like, I was like 11, and he was like 15, and like we was just like messing around, like on like the the little uh, on like a little like mini hoop goal. Yeah, yeah. The ones. And I had and I had one and I because I remember I hit I hit the <laughs> and I like I was like going crazy because I won and whatnot <laughs> and he was, but then he was telling me no you didn't win because like you had this amount of points I had this I'm like what are you talking about why can't you just admit that I'm better than you I kid you not this dude looked into the depths of my soul and told me <laughs> Jaden never yeah you will never ever in your life ever be better than me and he told me that i was like dang hey, that hurts, man. i'm never gonna be better than, <laughs> hey, better than this guy he's hey, jesus he got that it. hurt that's that's that big brother shit just planting yeah. seeds but like but that but that stuff but that stuff definitely helps me but now but like he's literally like my best friend so like yeah that stuff like that stuff is the stuff that's brought us closer and stuff yeah sure um did you guys both go to Elizabeth State University at the same time, so you you were a freshman and he was a senior. Yeah, and that and it's crazy because we were never supposed to because well if it weren't if it wasn't for COVID, uh, then we wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. It was COVID and because I did I reclassed after I graduated high school, so it okay. like put us on point right. to like, like like we were gonna be in the same grade and like he had. We were talking about it one like just one time because like my recruiting process like I didn't like I like get recruited like that only like a few a few schools ever like hit me up or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think there was this, there was this one school and like I went on a visit. I think it was Wofford, and like they, they were they were D one, but I really didn't take I didn't take it too seriously mm -hmm. just because I'm like uh, and, uh, I don't know D one really right now I don't think so. But like he was just talking to me up like and they had hit him up too and he was talking to me. He was like, Jaden, like, would you wanna play with me? And I looked him I looked him in the face and I was like, Hell no. I'm <laughs> yeah, like you yell at me all the time <laughs> to do no, I don't wanna play with you ever. <laughs> uh, and then uh uh I think he had uh committed to but well he was in the transfer portal because he went to young harris uh -huh. and uh he, so he transferred to elizabeth city state and then uh by the time like i finished like my post-grad year i still had like zero offers like i had no schools looking at me mm -hmm. nobody did. so i was like dang bro like i might have to just like walk up walk on here so i am gonna <laughs> that's when i just made the decision to to walk on over here and stuff like that and then that year that was like that was that was that was a lot of, that was that was really big for me because yeah. i didn't i was gonna enjoy it as, as much as i did mm -hmm. but like now that he's not here then i'm like damn like dang i kind of missed that guy I'm not even gonna... yeah don't say that too loud you don't want him you don't want him to know that you're all in your feet oh, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but it was definitely it was definitely a fun it was definitely a fun year playing with him just like traveling with him because like he was he had always like been away because mm -hmm, yeah. like he went and he was always far away from college so actually having that year and like we're spending time together like we're always in the dorms and stuff like that like and I'm, like now i'm not like his little brother like mm -hmm. i'm like I'm your, your brother, old man do i party with you or whatever so mm -hmm. it was always fun good good I, I couldn't imagine playing on the same team as my brother no uh -uh. no no it's, it's definitely it's definitely something different but like like you just, I don't know. Especially the type of uh, guy that my brother is, he's just he always has yeah. my back. So yeah. like any like there's like a situation like I always like I'm looking over my shoulder and like like he's right literally like right there yeah. like right, right literally whatever like it doesn't it do, didn't matter what it was. Like I think we were playing Virginia State and uh, I think I went 
open up for a layup. And one of the dudes, like, when he came down, bro, elbowed me, like, in the side of my eye. And, like, I'm on the ground. My brother runs from, like, the other side of the free throw line, like, on, like, our basket from the other side. Mm -hmm. And then runs over and goes right to bro's face. Like, bro, what you want to do? Like, what the hell are you? <laughs> but, like, and dude was trying to tell him accident. But, like, he's just always on go. Right he's always, he always has my back. So, yeah, I mean, it was always. That's what Big Brothers is supposed to do. Yeah, yeah for sure. So you go to a, D, a D2 school. Um, yeah. You already said you weren't highly recruited and things like that. I don't know. We, all, we both know that there's D1 talent in D2 and D3 and NAIA. Oh, yeah. Um, did you ever feel like, now that you're, you've been playing in, in, in a D2 school, like, man, maybe I should have tried to go D1. Maybe, maybe you know, any regrets? Did Not at all. Done something different? Like, with me, when I'm in an environment, especially like be, being a walk on too, because like what I found out, like in college, it's like the big schools or whatever, and like the D1, that stuff is cool. But like when you're that, when you're somewhere, like when you're where you're like wanted, yeah, or like, like you're, you feel like yeah. you contribute you don't have to like be somebody else you can go there and you can just be yourself they're gonna accept you and like you're gonna like you know they're gonna be behind you like my friend like my freshman year like everybody was always like always behind me and stuff like that like no matter like what i was doing like i literally like led the conference in turnovers and <laughs> like, oh, we're gonna stand behind them like that's all. like that like, I, I just committed like eight turnovers <laughs> y'all mess with me like that man and then like i because i had i had left after my after my freshman year to do the social media stuff full time yeah. and then like even me coming back like, i haven't even like played a single game i haven't i don't have a jersey but like people are still like oh like you you back you back hooping like you back playing playing basketball i'm like yeah like i'm rejoining the team and everything they're like oh yeah great i'm like dang y'all looking forward to like these nine <laughs> turnovers <laughs> <laughs> y'all are really looking forward to this okay man. appreciate y'all but like, mm -hmm. but like no hey. but, but like definitely I, after my freshman year people were telling me to like transfer to like put my name in the portal but mm -hmm. me something is working for me and i'm mm -hmm. comfortable in the city i'm gonna stay there yeah. i'm not i'm not like curious about like what's like what, what my horizons are or whatnot like that but when I'm somewhere and I'm comfortable, like I'm gonna stay there. Yeah, that 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 makes a, a huge difference not only in your basketball but your your just general life that you're comfortable. You like you said somewhere where you're wanted, um, and you can be you. You can do you. You can be you. That's that's mad important. And I re really respect you for for understanding and accepting that at a at a early age. I would say because most people don't don't realize that until they're senior or or juniors after they've been through the portal and everything like that and like oh i had a good situation and damn, i hate talking about him this much but like <laughs> I, hate, I hate bringing this guy up i can't stand my brother, but my brother like i learned that from my brother uh, uh his the first four year that he went to just like wasn't the best situation for him mm -hmm. and like he thought it was going to be like something like completely different than what it was but then he found his school here and like they accepted him for what he could do and like they let him play whatever and he found success. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's gonna be it's hard to find success when you're not yourself. Yeah. yeah. That's dope, man. So but, what is a what is a typical day for a student athlete like you look like? You got you got classes, you got basketball, you got your social media stuff. What's a Today is Monday. What's a typical Monday look like for you? A typical Monday? <sighs> you want the like the honest, like the honest truth? Yes. So, so me, now I had changed my major. So mm -hmm. I'm into disciplinary studies. Okay. So a morning for me, I'm literally I'm up by like eight. And then like I'm literally like in my room on the on the MacBook doing my work from like eight to twelve. Mm -hmm. And after and then after that I'm you don't probably, have to go to class 
like I don't like I'm it's my my degree is a it's an all online degree. Wow. I'm doing like I'm doing all my all my work and all my classes are like on the MacBook and I'll, wow. I'll a Zoom every now uh, every now and then, but most of the stuff like I can and I can and it's perfect for me because I had trouble waking up for class. <laughs> I, I'm not not even gonna lie. I had trouble. I always I always had trouble waking waking up for waking up for class. Like uh, especially like after the season my freshman year, like I just ugh, it was <laughs> hard to get up. Don't, those like, eight o'clock, them seven o'clock classes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was struggling with that, and that's when most people just was just like, okay, yeah, this college stuff isn't for me. But like, you know, you always find a solution. So I found something that works for me. So I get up, I can, I can be, and I can be on my on my laptop doing all my work mm -hmm. about eight to twelve. Then twelve, usually I'm like, that's when I like, I'll like go to the calf, and then I come here to the because I'm in my team's locker room right now, and now get shots up here, get a workout in. Or whatnot, go eat. It. Then most of the time I'm just chilling again. Then that's when I start. I, uh, I haven't been like recording as much lately, but usually like like on all that like my uh, social media stuff, I'll record like late afternoon, like four or five o'clock. And then I'm like, it doesn't take me long to edit. It takes me about like an hour to edit. Mm -hmm. Then at night, that's when either like I'll be. Uh, doing like the basketball runs like in the other gym on the other side of campus or the team will be in here and we'll hoop and then dinner time and then rest of the, my nights is really just like me chilling so it's not like it it definitely can be hectic sometimes like yeah, especially yeah. Like, when the work, work is piling up that's when like mm -hmm. I, I like i'll have to like switch things around so like maybe i can't uh get a workout in like maybe i have just like focus on my schoolwork that day or like if with my social media stuff if i have like a, a promo deal to do or a couple of videos to film then that's like stuff i'll have to focus on but most of the time keep it all pretty balanced and i think that was the that was a big thing for me finding a balance because i like my freshman i always felt like my mind was just like going like a hundred miles per hour so like switching to on switching to online and just doing my degree that way taking and take and I'm taking classes that I actually like I'm mm -hmm. taking classes that I know is going to help me in the future mm -hmm. so that kind of helps slow my mind down for sure mm -hmm. not too it's not, not too hectic but like when that work starts to pile up like midterms finals that's when stuff like can get hectic and most of the time I'm really just I'm chilling I'm like I'm out here you know what's uh what's your team goal for this year championship mm -hmm. CIW for sure and then to the tournament, and then to the tournament for sure. Mm -hmm. but, but it starts with that because I want that. I really want to see our WA championship because my last, the last game that I played, like before I left, mm -hmm. it haunts, like it literally haunts me to this day. Live television, ESPN. I think I, I think I went like four of like four on the field. They're balling threes. I'm missing. <laughs> like this i'm like i have and like, like and then uh, and then you don't play for a year so i got have like so much built up like redemption I like i really don't even know how to explain it it's just but i really want to win i want to be i know i just want the whole team to be successful for real yeah that's that's dope man yeah you gotta you gotta redeem yourself right uh, definitely 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 redemption okay need it then that then that's what we're gonna call this season the redemption season oh yeah yeah, something like that. Would you ever um, consider playing overseas? Oh yeah, for sure. That's always the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. Especially when I graduate, and it's definitely possible because I see a lot of I've see already seen like a lot of guys, especially from my conference, who are, have been able to like keep playing after mm -hmm. overseas pro any any kind of pro basketball. I mm -hmm. definitely want to keep playing. What and I, what, what and year I, are you right now? My platform as well. You know, so I like, doing both at, at the same time because I always thought like I would have to like choose between choose between no. the two. Like, mm -hmm. do like your social media? Are you gonna play ball? Like, oh, like I can do both if I'm if I'm putting my mind to it and I'm putting the work in. Like, I can do both. I can do anything I want to if I put my mind to it. Really? Yeah. But, these days, these days, it's it's also a part of the experience that that players are 
focusing on their branding as, as such and, and really trying to find other streams of income as well, not just through the basketball, but also through social media presence and things like that. But what year are you right now? I'm, I'm a, I'm a, uh, so I'm a junior in the classroom, but I'm a but sophomore. sophomore in, right. Okay. So let me, <laughs> so let me, it was just asking me that too. It was like, I'm going to be here for another three years. Like, I'm going to be here right now. I'm here for a little bit. So, um, so let me say when you are, a, after your junior basketball season, junior basketball. then you hit me up. I'm going to send you a copy of my book. And this is going to help you come overseas. This one right here. It's made for every player that finishes their junior year, going into their senior year, what to expect, what to do, the how-tos if you want to play overseas, when you should start looking for an agent, what to look for in an agent, things like that. It's got everything in there. You tell me when you when you finish your junior year, I send you the book, and then you're going, you, we're going, we're going to get you straight. Not for sure. Okay. Good. You, got, you got me here, so you, you came on my show, so I got to do something good for you, right? Sure. Okay, so um, that that was also a little bit of self promo. Right. That was that was. That, <laughs> Just so, I, I, I am not above. I'll, I am not above the self promotion. I'll repost it. Hey, I don't care. Hey, I, <laughs> I, gotta make your brand somehow. So um, now let's go on to the, the social media part because, of course, that's how I found you. Um, I, I saw one of your videos and I laughed my ass off because what what always trips me out is. There, uh, uh, in any kind of comedy, there's always usually some certain level of truth to it. Uh -huh. So when you do your skits about, I don't know, about anything, you know, um, the, the guy on your team, that, that how they warm up or, or stuff like that, like there's always some kind of truth to it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Everything, and I did you not, like, I, and I had, I did like a whole, I did like a whole series. Like ev mostly everything that like I like make a video about, it's stuff that I've mm -hmm. seen or it's stuff that's happened to me. Mm -hmm. So like for example, like my uh when I was making uh my series about like the fr the freshman on the basketball team, mm -hmm. that was this like those things were filmed after stuff like I had been through like <laughs> little day, like the day of like we would. It was, my, it was my first workout. It was my first workout here. Like we and we were having individuals in the morning and stuff. And like our uh, uh, coach is showing us all these moves and stuff like that. And I'm doing them. And then he's like, "Hey, come on, man! Like you, like you playing, you playing like all tight and nervous, man. You gotta loosen up." So I'm like, "Word, loosen up? Okay, cool. I'm chilling." I start. I do some crazy double behind the back spin move. I try and like. <laughs> Lay up and I jump from the like hang near at the like from in front of the free throw line and I miss the layup. And then <laughs> he's literally he tells me like, "Yo, go ahead, get up out the gym." <laughs> Just did. I said, Lo "I said, loosen up. You over here acting you like you on the Harlem Globetrotters or something <laughs> like that. Out the gym and don't come back until tomorrow." Literally, <laughs> it was uh, my like uh, I always got like. Like, like not made fun of, but like I was definitely always like a target. But just yeah, a target for sure. Because I, I remember, was just, you know, just freshman stuff. I remember when I was a freshman. Um, I was I played at the University of Arizona as a freshman, and mm -hmm. I had never lifted weights before. I'm six eight, mm -hmm. two hundred pounds soaking wet, right? But back then I was six eight, one hundred seventy five. So mm -hmm. I was like this. And um, I had never lifted weights before. And I remember the first time we went into the weight room, um, we went lifted, we lifted hard, doing biceps and stuff. And you know, we, after you lift, you got that blood in your arms and, yeah. and you feel big, right? So I had no experience with weights. So I didn't know, man, I was looking at myself in the mirror, looking at my little scrawny arms. And one of the older guys walks past and without even really like looking at me or anything like that, he just walks past me and goes, it's the pump, you dumbass freshman. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, that's crazy. Okay. All right. My bad. <laughs> I, I know your ego was oh, shot. Oh, oh, done. <laughs> done. He, I think he said something like, also, like on his way out, he said something like, it'll be gone in 20 minutes. 
Nah, yeah. <laughs> I look like, yeah. Like on media days, that's why that's why people be doing like the, the push ups before like <laughs> and you get that pump. It lasts like, you know, six or seven minutes, but you know. <laughs> um so so of course a lot of your, your skits they come from 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 real life. Um what's the what is in your opinion the funniest one you've ever done? Ah, oh, dang. In your opinion. Oh, okay, I didn't I didn't made like over a thousand videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is that is tough. Or one that sticks out where you're like Cuz the crazy thing is some of the the ones that like I are like the funniest like the where like I'm like editing and I'm laugh, laughing mm -hmm. at the same time like those are the ones that would just like like not like not like flop but like they're, they're mm -hmm. like like they don't like blow up and the yeah. ones really the ones that like you see on my page that are like millions like though I don't think those are fun mm -hmm. like I thought they were clever but like I did not think like I wasn't like dying laughing. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, I, if I if I were to say one, then it would be the guy who's trying to get approval from coach, and only, <laughs> and only be only because like at the uh, at the at the end of the video, I remember and I remember it's like like he like I like hit like a half court shot and like. I look over to the coach. I'm like, yeah, coach, you see me, boy. And then coach doesn't even pay attention. I'm like, yo, no way, bro. You're not showing me like, you know, type of love. you like my father. <laughs> and then I cut to like a father, like in the stands. And, like, and he has like milk in his hand. He's like, what I <laughs> <laughs> So that one, that was that, that was funny. That was, but like, the funniest that's that's hard but like yeah yeah sure. that one that one comes to mind like when i'm thinking like when i was editing that like i was laughing like the whole time mm -hmm. when i can uh, laugh when I can, when I can laugh at myself then mm -hmm. i'm like, all right this might this one might be good i totally know what you mean because the ones that i mean i'm not even close to your level but but the ones that that i think oh this is this is good this is gonna get a lot of likes that shit have like it's like crickets and yeah. I think, like two weeks ago, I had one, uh, the the one that I that I've had the most likes and, and views and stuff, and it was one where um, I had forgot to post. I I'd normally post it the same around the same time, and I I had forgotten to post. So it was like two hours later than I normally post, mm -hmm. and it was really an afterthought. It was like, oh shit, I got to post. I put threw it in there real quick, threw the caption on real quick. wasn't wasn't really thinking about it or whatever, posted it. That shit was just kept getting views, kept getting likes. And I'm like, yo, this is not even that good. This is, this was an afterthought. I look back, I be looking back at like my old like videos, like my old, old videos. Mm -hmm. Like when I first, like when I first started, cause like when I started, when I started TikTok, like I think I, I had like gotten like a million views, like my like video, like three. Really? But I look back and I'm and I just I cringe because I'm like, oh, <laughs> like I'm looking at the editing, the editing, editing terrible. I, like my like my first bit, like it took me a it took me a, and a, another thing. It took me a year and a half to like do a video like using my actual voice. So like for a year for like a whole year and a half, I was just like doing sounds and stuff because I was mm -hmm. like, no, no way I like talk on camera. What I sound like that's like mm. ridiculous, yeah. Like, I never, but I look back and I just cringe. I'm like, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> like, two million views, like, <laughs> but like, what is what's wrong with you? like y'all? Like, y'all have problems for sure because this video was freaking terrible, <laughs> but, but it's cool. But it's cool, like, seeing like my growth, yeah. Because, like, yeah. I, I was always like a a camera shy guy mm -hmm. so like thought of me like recording myself and like posting videos like every day like that like you would have told me like my senior year of high school that hey you're gonna like make videos for like and you're gonna make money off of it i'm like shut the fuck, shut the fuck. <laughs> no i'm gonna be a, i'm gonna be a basketball i'm I'm play basketball no but nothing with a camera never ever mm -hmm. yeah like, it's, 
it's cool, cool. Like just like when I just I just be sitting and thinking sometimes, just like my growth. Just how you come. I think that's it's like something that's helped me. Like just like especially like when it comes to just like being confident in general. Yeah. Yeah. Like I used to like walk around like with like my head down like all the time. I used to have this I, I used to have this thing like in high school. I'd just be walking around, head down, like not even worried about anything. But like now, like, you know, like I just walk regular. I walk with my head up and stuff like so it's just like seeing little things like that, it makes me yeah. happy. Yeah. How did you how did you get started or what made you what made you say, Okay, I'm gonna do this? Not because I'm sure when you first started you weren't thinking that you would be as big as you are now. You're just doing it just kinda like messing around. It was just mess was just mess messing around. My first video was like some dance video. I still have it. Up. Like I was just, I, I just like did, like did this like dance video with like transitions and stuff, and it got like three hundred likes. And like people at my school were like, "Yo, Lonnie, is this you?" I'm like, mm -hmm. a little bit. That's fine. Mm -hmm. And then like a couple years later, like I like made my first basketball skit, and then. Uh, that did, it did well. And then that was when COVID hit. So then when COVID hit and like we're in quarantine, like I'm quarantining all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I had, I literally had nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. So I had else to do, but like I could sometimes like go out to my court and my hoop. Most of the time I was just like in my, in the house, just like thinking of like video ideas and stuff like that. Cause like I was like, I wasn't even like, I was just like, dang, like I don't have any Anything else to do mm -hmm. like i think i ten thousand followers like within like a week wow okay this is cool. like this is cool i wasn't like that but i didn't think anything i didn't think anything of it i was just like dang like this is fun like this is cool mm -hmm. and like, it's like i appreciate it the most because like when i like of course like i still do it for fun but like now in the back of my mind i gotta think like okay let's not mess up my engagement let's make sure that this video mm -hmm. in it and Make sure we can make this amount of money from it so we can put gas in our car today. Because <laughs> <laughs> I be thinking about my bills. I'm like, oh. <laughs> man, this big has to blow up because I got a car. <laughs> like, 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 they charge me for housing. I got thirteen hundred to pay for housing. Like we gotta, we gotta get these videos. Mm -hmm. But for sure, but I still like have fun with it but definitely like nowadays now it's a business it's, it's it's not it's not so much the 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 fun aspect it is both mm -hmm. but it's it, at some point just like playing with basketball if yeah. you're a professional it becomes your job when i came overseas to play i was 22 years old and going from college to pro mm -hmm. it's your job you have nothing else to do you have something else to do besides basketball but um at some point what, what you're doing you're so successful at it you I have to think about it as a business where it, where, it, where it literally has to be a job like you have to like think 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 like that sometimes mm -hmm. that's why so like now i like give my i could like give myself breaks from it mm -hmm. sometimes like like so, sometimes like i'll just take a break and i'm just like okay we're not gonna like record for like a week we're gonna like recharge like that because like when i when i got to a point where like, I started hitting like mental blocks, like mm -hmm. for like ideas and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think back like, yo, wait, like you make videos like based off like stuff that you're going through or stuff that you think is fun and stuff like that. When you're thinking like what my audience will mm -hmm. like or what they're, what they're gonna like or, or whatever like that, then it can be hard mm -hmm. because then it's find ideas. But, like when, like the best feeling for me, like as a, like as a creator, is like when I'm just like sitting and I'm chilling, I'm not even thinking about videos and like somebody says something or like something happens, I'm like that, mm -hmm. I can use that. I'm using that, I'm making that. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a video idea, then that, that's satisfying for me because then I'm not like sitting around just like, oh my God, what video am I gonna film today? Cause that's like the, that's like the, it's like the most frustrating thing, like when you're trying to come up with something. It's a, in some ways, it's, it's like pressure. Mm -hmm. it, it, it puts mm -hmm. a lot of pressure. You put a, like a lot of unne unnecessary pressure on yourself. Mm -hmm. But that's how like I've like kept my head on straight and kept the fun in it for sure. Mm -hmm. Like like no matter like with the with the businesses and stuff like that, like my agents or whatever, like 
I can I still know how to like take it and like I can make it fun for myself. That's my what point. what was the point where you realized I can do this make money? Yeah, it's still fun. Let's I can make money. How long before, since you started to where you really thought, hey, I can I can do this business wise? How long did that take? It, for you? It took me I think it was when I it was when I signed with my when my first like when I when I got hit up by like my first agency, mm -hmm. like my first talent agency. I think it was Carter it was Carter agency and like they had just like called they had just called me and they were like they were just like telling me about like my platform and whatnot and what they wanted to do and they like gave me like a little test trial contract or whatever i think it was for like maybe like a month or two mm -hmm. and that month i was working at walmart when i was at like three hundred and fifty thousand. i i and then i did uh, they they got me my first i remember they got me my first promo deal with the north carolina department of transportation uh -huh. Like how much it was, but like I quit. I quit Walmart like right after that. <laughs> like, 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 and I'm like in like in Walmart like, getting people's groceries, and like there and like I like, <laughs> but, like major will cut will come up because at that point I was like I was still like doing like house thing with like Cam Wilder and all them like that. So I have kids coming up to me like in Walmart like oh you're the guy off TikTok. I'm like, bro. Just tenders and french fries and like get out my face please thank you <laughs> but but like i literally i literally i literally quit right oh. I, I haven't i haven't worked since i haven't worked since how <laughs> like, like a like a nine to five to me i'm just like dude you serious no hey, i can't, can't that 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 had to be some surreal shit no. to be bagging somebody's grocery and, and you know sometimes when people recognize you but they're not really sure if it's you yeah. and they're just kind of like looking at you looking at and, and you can tell my, that's like my biggest pet peeve because like <laughs> oh my god because it's like that that is like it makes yeah it makes me mad i'm like hey it's me like, <laughs> hey, like, like my fuck you want me doing backflip like damn it's me come here i'll strike i'll take a picture i'll take a picture i'll sign just, just here, give me, give me the attention. <laughs> it happened with time. I was on, I was on a date. I was on a date one time. It happened. Ooh, it's me. <laughs> but, but how do you handle sure. that? How, how do you? I mean, just the the fame period. Being a, being going out. People recognize you. I mean, I had some. I mean, I was all, I was a college athlete too. You know, you know how it is when you're an athlete. Everybody knows you. Um, yeah. Then I come overseas. Depending on where you play, you could be really like a big time guy. You know, so I've had my share of those kind of moments. But but I think when you're a social media guy, I think that has that's another level. How do you handle? Definitely that? something different. So. It just depends, like what kind of environment I'm in. Uh -huh. Like when, when I'm at when, when I'm at school, actually no, hold on. When I am like traveling and I'm going and I'm doing the takeovers, then I'm like, back then I'm like, okay, people are gonna people are gonna come up to me, just smile, just smile, be nice or whatever, uh, and stuff like that. Like I, like I like I enjoy it. Sometimes yeah. some of the some of the kids or like some of like the teenagers they'll be like obnoxious and stuff like that they're not even gonna lie there have been a time there have been times where i'm just like yo like calm down because mm. i like I, <laughs> I, <laughs> i'm like looking at a 15 year old i'm over here go. You, <laughs> not, not this ain't TikTok. you're actually making me angry you know? uh, yeah, yeah. like and when i'm here well when i'm here like I don't like. I don't have to worry about any of that. Everybody's like, "Oh, it's Belai. It's just, oh, it's just that nigga Belai. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's just, but like, I don't, I don't have to worry about that here. Mm -hmm. But like, like when I'm traveling and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, just like smile, smile and wave, literally, smile, wave, take take the picture, sign the basketball, don't, 
Like if they ask to for you to sign their forehead, don't do it. <laughs> no. no, I've had like some like I'm telling you, like these kids are obnoxious. Like I've been asked to like sign foreheads. They're do ask me to sign a hundred dollar bill. I'm like, Ooh, you're just no. <laughs> Groceries, those are groceries. <laughs> like, that's you know, those are extra cards for you, bro. Like, yeah. Don't that you don't want that. But how I handle it, I just have fun. I just have fun with it. Mm. But I don't. But I do my best not to take it for granted. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. like you know how, how TikTok is. You can get banned in a day, literally. I've been I've been lucky to not to not ever have to worry about getting banned or anything like that i've not mm -hmm. that, I've had that happen to me yeah surprisingly actually because i don't know i've thought i've said i've said some weird stuff <laughs> <laughs> that's really should have been like hmm. <laughs> suspend him for a few days but like you know i just i just, I just try to have fun with it not take it for granted and just enjoy it because like, i've never i've never asked for it but like obviously it's it's here for a reason so right enjoy it while i can and stuff like that what what have you learned about yourself through all through all of this what's the biggest thing you've learned about yourself um mm, that's that's tough um i think the whole, whole social media journey has like helped me like tap into like my creative side mm -hmm. and has just like like helped me with confidence of course like that's the, like this stuff that like i still like struggle with like when it comes like when it comes to confidence and just like believing in, in yourself and stuff like that mm -hmm. and like seeing like like what you can really do because i like, literally i could like like even in, like even in 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 that basketball like in regular life like i could like do something like great or whatever like do something good and I'm still like, eh, you know, it's, it's nothing like that. But like, if like I'm constantly seeing results and stuff like that, and I'm putting the work in, like obviously, like you're doing something, like you're you're doing something good, and you just have to. I think I I I tended to the what's that saying? Sell myself short right a lot of so this is like the whole social media journey and just like my basketball journey it's definitely helped me like gain a lot of confidence in myself good and good a lot, lot more than like i usually would good good uh, like like just like change me i like a person like for the better and stuff like that so it's a it's, a, it's good like seeing like how I, how i'm evolving especially as i'm getting older and stuff like that it's 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 strange to see, it's strange to see. Sometimes it's like I I'll literally like sit around and I'm just like, I really like make videos. Like <laughs> I record like I record like I'll be with like during the recording I'm like damn I'm really like recording myself and I don't have a, like a have a problem with it. I don't like taking pictures though. Mm. I don't I don't like pictures like that. That's always that that's always been a thing with me. I don't know why, but uh. uh Definitely confidence. Mm. For sure. That's dope. Um, um, confidence. How, how long does it take you to, in general, how long does it take you to film one video? Without editing, I mean, just, just filming. About an hour. Mm -hmm. Do you, some, some days I'll have one video. Some days I'll have two, three videos. I want to stuff like that. So it varies. But usually it's about an hour. Like, Do you? ever have like a bad day where you're like oh this shit's not working fuck this oh, I'm not doing it. i've had like times where i've like got i've gotten an idea in my mind like it and it's good and it's a good idea mm -hmm. but like I, like i won't I, like won't know how to like piece it together to make it mm -hmm. look how i want to look or i won't have the resources that i need right. for it to look because like when i'm filming like i want like i want it to look a certain way Right. Like I can like, like have all the concepts in my head. I have all the clips, but like if it's not pieced together, and like the jokes aren't like on time, like where I want, like right where I want it to be, like I'll literally like scrap the whole idea, and like I'll like 
talked about it, or I'll just put it in my notes and I'll like come back to it. Back to it later. Yeah, I'll come back to it later. But definitely, I've had days where I'm just I, where I'm just like, oh my god, this is not gonna work. <laughs> uh, but, uh, oh, and one one video that I filmed like literally like a couple weeks ago, I was like, dang, I have no ideas. And then like I was like, wait, that's it. And then I did a video about a about. who has no ideas ideas <laughs> and, it did, and it did pretty good so like <laughs> like like the stuff that the stuff that I like pops into my head or the stuff that i that that i just like think about and go through like on the daily it's just like it's ridiculous. but like it helps it helps me and it makes it more and it makes it fun when it's something that like i know that like like my friends are gonna get mm. or like something my family is gonna get mm. like my my friend, my friend group here. I've had like I made like so many videos about them, <laughs> that, that that they do good and stuff like that. Then we're like, I, like my group, like we're always like, dang, like we really are, like we so, like we funny, like for real, <laughs> hey? and like I or what or what not, like funny. So like definitely like my friends here like have I like have a lot a lot of impact for mm -hmm. like some a lot of my content. How do you deal with with jealousy maybe from other creators or um i don't mean like like um trolls everybody's gonna have trolls shit like that but there are generally people that are jealous of your success or things like that do you have many people that that kind of look down on you or or something like that actually no i mean what you do i think brings a lot of joy at least not at least not that i know mm -hmm. of but like, I feel like I'm like, I don't know. I'd be thinking like I'm like some of like the lucky ones, cause I don't like when I go through like I go through my comments, I go through my DMs and stuff like that. Like there, like there will be trolls every now and then. But like people who like genuinely like hate on me, I, I don't, I haven't experienced anything. I'm like kind of looking for it now. I'm like dang, anybody want to hate? Anybody want to hate? No. Okay, but. Like yeah, I just I really just like get like the just like the little things mm -hmm. like like literally all like I posted my uh like my Xbox gamer tag like on my on my Instagram story and then instantly I got like th like I got like messages like it's either like them telling me to add add them or like telling telling me that like another creator that they know is better than me mm -hmm. like literally like I, I posted I posted. I saw like on in my messages on uh Xbox the other day, uh there was like one v one Mecca. Mecca's better than you. I'm like, you serious? <laughs> like what you have to tell me that for? <laughs> I think it's I think it's pretty dope that you guys have this this outlet to be creative. And of course I'm an old head, so I didn't have nothing like that. So um i think it's pretty dope what you're doing man and and i really think you should keep it up and and you give me inspiration you know um and i think that's dope so um keep doing what you're doing man i, I got a couple more questions for you quick kind of answer questions for you and then i'll let you get out of here uh you know the game kiss kiss kill mary right yeah okay we're gonna go a little bit different um someone that you would like to play with someone you'd like to play against and somebody you would like to win a title against it can be a pro it can be anybody somebody you said somebody that i want that would want to play with with someone you would want to play against uh -huh. and someone you would like to win a title against okay with obviously the goat michael jordan i want to play with actually no no i want to play against him okay i want, I want to play against him somebody okay. I would, I'd probably play play with LeBron. Mm -hmm. Then I'd want to. I play. I want to play. Wait, you said somebody I want to play with, somebody I want to play against, and then somebody I want. Somebody you want to win a title against. Okay, so change that. Want to play with Bron, win a title against Jordan, and just uh, play against Curry because those are my top three. Okay. So. All right. Good. Um, given the choice. Given the choice. What country in Europe would you like to play in? Mm. Want me to be completely honest? Yeah. No, any countries in Europe. I'm not very educated. 
<laughs> I'm, ter I'm terrible at geography. Yo. <laughs> you just asked me that. I'm like, my country. <laughs> yo, yo, on the real, you uh, gonna need this uh, band. Uh, you gonna need this band. <laughs> that was best. Cause oh, uh, country in Europe. Where'd you play? Where'd you play? <laughs> I, I'm living in Germany right now. I okay. played in Germany. In Germany. Okay, I cool. got you. I got you. I feel you on that, bro. <laughs> last... <laughs> oh. uh, all right, last sure. one. Who would you like to collaborate in the future with? Mm. Like just like videos? Whatever. Whatever something that you feel oh. like you think you would be good at with someone. Mm. It could be so something totally different. I want, I like when I get older, like I want to do a movie. That'd be cool. Like a bad, like, well, like literally only a basketball movie because like mm -hmm. basketball is like, but like a basketball movie and then like, I don't know, like Denzel is like my coach. So, <laughs> I don't know how that's fine. You, you're going on some Coach Carter, remember the yeah, Titans yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Because those are the movies that like I grew up on. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I, do or like a like a, a biopic about like a who mm -hmm. but that'd be cool too okay but, i i feel you on that i think i think you on your way i'm sure your agent is, is got got stuff uh lined up for you working on stuff let tell them yo let's do a movie let's 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 do it you're not ready for it i'm not ready for it i'm not ready yeah. for it I'm, in due time in due time it's the it's the it's the reading it's the reading <laughs> sure I already got, I got, I got to do enough reading here. I like to try, try and do like a, a movie nowadays. And I, I promise you, they be like, Jaden, did you like finish reading your lines? I'm like, oh, <laughs> but I'm going to get to pay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got me on now. <laughs> I'm still young. I can't like, got to. Yeah, I need some time. Uh, all right, I got you, man. Yo, yo, man, I'm going to let you get out of here, man. I, I really appreciate This is funny as hell. Uh, I really appreciate your honesty. I really appreciate your, your sense of humor, man. Like I said, keep doing what you're doing, man. You, 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 you're inspiring an old head like me. Um, so, I mean, keep, keep doing what you're doing, man, and, and have fun with it and, and, and I, I really like what you're doing, man. So that's why I wanted to have you on. I appreciate it. Appreciate you, bro. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, man. Sure. All right. So, everyone, I think uh, that was a pretty funny episode um, of the Euro Step. I was really glad that he came on, and and, and he's funny as crap, you know. And uh, like you said, uh, like I said earlier, in everything, everything is comedy. There's always a little bit of truth in it. So, some of the stuff that he said was probably a little bit true too. So um, yeah, I, I thought I thought that was a great episode. Yeah, that's it for me for tonight. It's tonight in Germany, afternoon in America. Um, I have another episode coming up on Friday that I'm really really excited about. Um, those, do I want to say too much? Those those of you that that know football, NFL football, you'll know my next guest. Yes, that'll be on Friday. Same time, 7.15, German time, what, 1.15 uh, Eastern Standard Time. So tune in on Wednesday on my page to, to see who the, the guest will be. And then Friday will be the interview. So really looking forward to that. I hope all is well wherever you are in the world. I hope your family is good. I hope you're good. And I hope we'll see each other again on Friday. That's it for me. Old head out.